What's up, everybody? This is Johnny Basement, and we are back here in the basement for another AFL video celebrating another great AFL player in Luke Hodge, the general. Before we get into Luke Hodge, the general, please subscribe, bell, and order like button. Drop some comments down below where you will also find the link to this in the uh, comments down below as well. That way you can watch the video without hearing me yammer on. It is your favorite American New York Jets fan back in the base with another AFL down the rabbit hole video. Wow, guys, we're getting closer and closer to the season. Closer and closer to footy season kicking off in mid-March. What does that mean? That means, obviously, that the AFL season is starting, but it also means that I'll be picking a team, and I'm getting closer and closer to picking that team. I've narrowed it down to five teams. Five teams I've narrowed it down to. Come February 1st, I'll do a video for the final three teams that I'll have it down to, to picking, and it's been tough. It's been tough. I've been doing a lot of research on these teams. But anyway, that's not what we're here for today. Right now, we're here for Luke Hodge, the general. And who is Luke Hodge? Guys, you know, you know I take notes. You know I've been taking notes. And of course, we're not going to start another video on a player without telling you some background on the guy. From Sirioli to Dustin Martin to Jeremy Howe to Buddy Frank, and we've done him. And we're going to come in here with Luke Hodge. Who is Luke Hodge? Luke Hodge is known as the general. He played for the Hawthorne Hawks from 02 to 2017. Long, long 15-year career with the Hawthorne uh, Hawks and then finished with the Brisbane Lions just for one year from 2018 to 19. He is a four-time AFL Premiership player, 08 and 13, 14, and 15. He also is a three-time AFL Premiership captain from 13 to 15. He also is a two-time Norm Smith Medal Award winner for best on-ground player in the grand final. Now, who is Norm Smith? You ask Johnny. Johnny, who's Norm Smith? I'll tell you who Norm Smith is. Norm Smith was a four-time VFL pl uh, premiership player as a player. Now, VFL is what? Victorian Football League. Victorian Football League was what the AFL was called up until 1990 when it switched over to the AFL. Anyway, moving right along. He was a six-time VFL premiership champion as a coach. Also, Norm Smith was the man. He played from 1935 to 1948 for Melbourne and finished up 49 to 50 for Fitzroy. So that's what we know about Norm Smith. Back to Lou Codge, who won that medal twice. He's a three-time All-Australian team he made. Three-time All-Australian team he's made. Two-time Peter Crimmins medal. He won it in 05 and again in 2010. That, that medal, Peter Crimmins, Crimo is what they called him. He played for the Hawthorne Hawks as well. And that is for best and fairest player on the field. The best and fairest played on the field, which was named in honor of Peter Crimmins. And it's only an award for the Hawthorne Hawks team. Peter Crimmins, I found out, died of testicular cancer just a few days after winning the Premiership Cup in 1976. He played from 66 to 75 for the, uh, for the uh, Hawthorne Hawks. And right after they won the Premiership in 76, he, he uh, died of cancer, which is really, really sad. Apparently, there's some big backstory on him. I didn't look into all that. But when I see someone, when I'm doing the AFL, and I see somebody win a championship... I like to know about them a little bit more. When I see somebody win medals and awards, I want to know a little bit of a background on who the person is that's being honored, like the Peter Crimmins Award and Norm Smith Medal Award, that sort of stuff. I like to find out some background. So I'm not just a reactor coming on here. Let's just do Luke Hodge. I don't know who he is and just go forward. No, we do history here. I'm learning the game. I love the passion in this game. So let's get into this right now. Uh... I think that's all we got on him. I wanted to make sure. I take time on these notes. I want to make sure I'm spitting out the right stuff. So, that being said, let's go forward. Luke Smith, excuse me, Luke Hodge, the, the general. Let's go forward and watch. check this guy out. Let's see what we got here. This is obviously when he first got drafted, I guess, the kid. Oh, is he fighting? Yo, I don't see a lot. 
thought of that. I never looked up AFL fights. Is he fighting right there and wrestling around? That's one thing I never really looked up in this. Uh, interestingly enough, I never looked up if there was a lot of fighting in the actual games. That's something I might actually start looking into. Villain, before we even go further, it doesn't look like there's going to be any uh, commentary during this video. So, guys, please let me know why he's known as the villain. Maybe just watching this will explain it a bit. Let's check it out. Oh! 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 Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might back this up a little bit. Look at the blood on his face. This dude's a fighter. This guy's a fighter? Is this guy one of those kind of guys? Is he a fighter out there like an enforcer? Are you going to take care of business? Is that what this guy is? Oh, look at that takedown. Yeah, this guy doesn't back off. This guy doesn't back off. Wait a second. We're going to back that up. I'm sorry to keep backing it up, but we got to check some of this stuff out. Is he like... For you NHL fans and guys that follow me doing the, uh, the the Rangers live streams, is this guy kind of like an enforcer would be in hockey where if your star player is being pushed around or, you know, knocked around, here comes an enforcer, a big-time dude, big-time too to go out and trash that guy. Oh, look at that, trashes. If you didn't see this, by the way, this brief note, Danbury trashes. Check out the video I just did on them. Talk about enforcers. Wow. Anyway, is that what uh, Luke Hodge is here? Is he like an enforcer type? Is he, what is he? What is he in that end to be called the villain? This guy sure likes, he doesn't look like he has a problem. Look at that gut shot, man, right in the lips. I'm seeing here that he's he's recognizes a few things. The kid, that was obvious. He just got drafted. Kid coming out. 2005, hitting the Hawthorne t uh, Hawks, ready to keep it going. I understood that one, but the villain, the herd, and now we're up to... Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, what a spec. And I don't see a whole lot of that. What a block. He put his, you're sacrificing your whole body to put yourself in front like that. Look at that. You're sacrificing your whole body jumping across like that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's yeah. Right there, man. Right there. Look at that. That ball comes in a little bit more. He's catching that right in the jaw, man. Right in the face. You break his nose, whatever. Break your jaw. Oh, man. That's that's a bold move right there. They do that in the NFL, but of course, what do we have in the NFL? Padding, helmets. You don't have that here, and he has the same go all out for your team attitude. I love that. I love that type of aggression in sports. just heard something in the name. His name is Luke Hodge, not Hodge. Luke Hodge. <laughs> One thing with the names that I've been doing, that I've been doing is I'm learning along as I go. I'm learning. Give me a break. I used to call Melbourne, Melbourne. Okay. Like thing, I used to call uh, Geelong. I used to call it Geelong. Geelong, Geelong. I'm told two different things on that one. But whatever the case, you get you get what I'm saying here. I've said some names wrong. I'm thinking Luke Hodge. It's Luke Hodge. At least that's what the announcer just said. So did I just learned something else. Smith Middle, Luke Hodge. That's what you said, Hodge. That's a good out. Hodge will kick a second. He does. The captain kicks the tenth. 
Now everybody's saying Hodge. So, so much for my theory went right out the window. <laughs> Nothing better than you start breaking something down, hit play, and then it goes right against everything you just said. And you know what's the best thing about being in the basement? We don't edit stuff like that because I ain't perfect and I don't edit things to make it sound like I'm perfect because I'm not. How could I be perfect? I'm a four-decade New York Jets fan. New York Jet fan. I'm four decades into that team. So how smart could I be? How smart could I be? It is! Hodge has done it from nowhere! We shouldn't be surprised, should we? Well, it is October, but he is Mr. September. A legend! So this guy's a legend! So all could have done it. The first team in the 18 team competition to go back to back. To back. In three pieces. Wait a second. They are remarkable. Wait. Did he just say that he's the first player to win the Premiership Cup back to back to back? Is that right? I want to make sure I'm hearing that correctly so I'm making an accurate statement here. Let's hear that again. 18 team competition to go back to back to back. I guess so. He just said back to back to back. So I guess so. I guess that's what made him uh, the first player. Is that right? Is that really right? The first player to be part of a team that went back to back to back? Tell me if that's true or not and if I even heard that right. But that's what it sounded like. I'm not going to keep backing it up and bore you guys to death with this stuff. But that's certainly what it sounded like. Three pieces. That was awesome. That was awesome. But I see, I'm sure there's other videos that are longer than this. I didn't realize this one was as quick as it was. But, but, he's another name here, Luke Hodge, that was highly, highly requested in the, uh, in the comments throughout all these AFL videos and the journey that I've been on with the AFL. We've done Dustin Martin, uh, Lance Buddy Franklin. We've done uh, Cyril Rioli, Jeremy Howe, Luke Hodge. Who's next? I want to get do some doing some game replays. Might start doing game replays live on here. How do you guys feel about that? Do a live stream of game replays because I'm just getting into the game. So during it, you guys could probably probably tell me what's going on, what I'm doing wrong on here. But I know about now about 75% I understand about what's going on in this AFL. These players are no doubt have the athleticism like nobody's business. I believe a lot of these guys, besides being a punter in the NFL or even a field goal kicker, there's plenty of guys here that, that make incredible marks where they could be easily be a tight end or a wide receiver, slot receiver in the NFL. There's no doubt. The hands, the focus, the awareness of your surroundings, everything that goes on in this because you're wearing no pads. So you got to be extra careful about what's going on out there and who's around you and whose radar you might be on that you don't even see coming at you. So that all being said, Luke Hodge, the general, dropping again the link down in the comments. Please subscribe, bell notice, like button. I am so enjoying these. Watch out for my next AFL video and my next live stream. Anybody that hasn't jumped in yet on the live streams, come on in. Got NFL playoffs coming up. This coming, this coming weekend, I do Rangers, Knicks, and I have a lot of Australians now popping into the live streams. Guys, thank you for your support. Thank you for the comments and the help that you guys bring in here. I try to comment back to as much as I can. I promise you I do. I do so much background work on these things and some homework. I'm diving into this AFL. I'm all in. Can't wait to pick my team. Thank you again for your guys' support. It means the world to me. Thank you. Subscribe, bell, notice, like button, drop some comments. I'm Johnny Basement, and I am.